product not yet rated. When you're creating a massively multiplayer online game set in the real world, the amount of material and inspiration that you can draw upon is simply staggering. When we started working on The Secret World, we wanted to capture the spirit of the globe-trotting adventure. Players will go to iconic locations all over the world. One minute they'll be battling ancient mummies in the shadow of the Great Pyramid in Egypt or perhaps be exploring a haunted amusement park along the coast of New England, while in another, they will be hunting for werewolves in the forests of Transylvania. Being able to draw upon all these real-world inspirations also gives our creature designers great opportunity to twist the everyday myths and legends into something unique. We're putting a lot of effort into making every location in this game rich in story, texture, and context. Monsters inspired by myth and legend are where you will expect them to be. While exploring the Carpathian Mountains, you will stumble upon vampires and werewolves. You'll find ghosts and spectres in haunted mansions. And in New England, players will encounter long-dead civilizations such as the Mayans and, and the Vikings. Not all creatures in the game are evil. You don't fight them all. You get to make deals with demons and vampires. You get to interact with fairies and giants. Players in the secret world get to visit three cities. The city you start in depends on your choice of faction. The Templars start in London, the Illuminati, New York, and the Dragon have their base in Seoul. London is the social hub of the secret world, and that's where players go to shop, to drink, to dance, to socialize. Social gameplay is definitely important to us, but we envision much more intrigue happening in the hubs. Players returning there to take missions for their factions, playing them off against each other. Travel in the secret world has always been a challenge for us. How are we going to create this seamless world and yet stay true to the globe-trotting adventure? What we've done is create a location called Agatha, known in legend and myth as the Hollow Earth. But Agatha is not just this, this travel hub, it's a place of mystery, of discovery, a place that is not quiet, is filled with ancient machinery. Not only these portals, but living machines. The question we asked ourselves a lot of times, how are we going to handle the idea of dungeons? Our modern day setting brings about a lot of challenges and opportunities when it comes to creating dungeons and raids for teams of players to descend into these very story-driven adventures. And it's the same with PvP, where we're throwing players into these exciting and iconic locations all over the world, from Shambhala to Stonehenge and El Dorado. Dungeons are not just dank cellars and underground passageways. Here players will be exploring anything from Soviet-era research facilities built by Stalin's paranormal forces, to a stranded cargo ship, or even stepping into hellish dimensions. Everywhere players go in the secret world, everywhere, they'll meet something that has great significance and historical significance to the real world, that links into myths, legends, conspiracy theories, and pop culture. Everything is true. <laughs>